Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you one of the ways that you can do lectures using a program called OBS Studios, which allows you to record your screen while also recording your face. And this is something that you can use to present PowerPoints or any other thing you want to show on your computer while you're talking. So today I'm going to use it to show you how to make rubrics and attach them to assignments in your classes. So there are three different ways to do this. Now the easiest way is to go through outcomes. And on this button here on the top uh, right of the screen is manage rubrics. Click that, you can add a rubric. Uh, let's say you wanna make a rubric for your discussion posts. You can make, you can name it discussions. Uh, you can, be specific about the criteria. And, you know, let's say you want to make your discussions out of two points with the possibility of getting one point or two points. Uh, you can edit <clears throat> them pretty easily by clicking on the pencils on the top corner. I uh, give them an encouraging little message there on the uh, description. And you can add uh, you know, the in-between points. And what's great is that you can add multiple ones um, of the same point value, which lets you give more specific and tailored uh, feedback. So let's say uh, one of the ways they can miss value is by not having uh, enough discussion. So let's say you have um, two discussion posts, a requirement, um, so you can make a category that says you only did one post and you can explain the rules. So you can make the rating, you can make another rating for one point for not using the materials in class. So this is one thing I, I very uh, specify is you always have to use specific information from the uh, readings. And again, the more specific the feedback you can get, the better your students are going to be able to do in the future. So you can add as many of these categories as you want, and you'll notice it's only two points. So I'll click Create Rubric, and now I can add it into my discussion post. So if I go to my discussion tabs, I can go to one of my graded discussions, and I can click the menu on the upper right corner and add rubric. And here, click find a rubric, click this course here, and here's my discussions rubric. And you can see it's uh, exactly the same as I made it. So there the rubric's been added. <clears throat> All right, so again, you can see the rubric is added. And then if I wanted to go to the grader, uh, you can see I can view the rubric and I can just select which one of these I have a problem with and it has the score that I want right there. All right, so the uh, next way of adding a rubric is to do it just on the assignment itself. So you can do this for every individual assignment um, what's nice about the papers is there's a little button at the bottom to add the rubric. And you can see it brings up a blank rubric that you can then make on your own, the same way we made the rubric for the discussions earlier. You can also make rubrics by using the outcomes page. So this is the third way of doing it. Um, I've set up a lot of outcomes already for papers 
but you just click add outcome. Uh, let's say you want to uh, use thesis so that students are able to make an argumentative thesis. So you want to make a description of what you hope students will get out of the class, the outcome they will have in the class. And I've already, you'll see, I've already made most of the other categories. So I'm going to make this worth um, 25 points total. And, you know, bump everything up in accordance with that. And you can add as many categories as you want by clicking insert in between each um, and you can make them specific too. And then these um, stuff on the bottom is for materials that most of us don't use in the course. So, um, so now I've created, I'm going to move it up to this group called paper. And this has all of the uh, criteria I'll be using when I grade papers. So now what I can do is go back and manage rubrics, add a rubric, Call this one papers and I can find outcomes so I have under paper you can put my organization outcome import and I can do that with all the outcomes I have <clears throat> add all the incomes in I'm gonna want to delete this one here and one of the things I can do now is um, make all of this. And I can go back to the assignments, make sure I save this, go back to the assignment that I was fiddling around with. And I can either just use that same rubric that I just made. Uh, it's under here. So you can see you have rubrics from all of your Carmen classes in one place. So I can add the paper rubric, um, which I'll do. The click use this rubric down here. And I can also edit it. So I can add the other criterion that are missing um, using the find outcome. I can add a custom criterion here and I can select whether I'll write freeform students or how I'll be using the rubric in particular to grade each paper. Uh, so those are three different ways to make rubrics. I hope you find this helpful and maybe you'll think of using this technique when you are uh, adding lectures to your course.